with those short arms, he is mostly a hooking fighter. Here comes the champion, Eric Morales. Morales undefeated in 40 fights at the age of 24. In his last performance against Goody Spot, as he admitted to us yesterday when we met with him, that it was a lackluster performance. Coming so relatively soon after his fight with Barrera, it's possible that he wasn't 100% into that fight and was surprised by a good fighter in Espadas. 40-0, 31 knockouts for Eric Morales. All right, let's send it up now to Michael Buffer for the official introductions. Michael Buffer is uh, speechless for the moment, a rare thing because uh, there's a problem with the hookup. And now, ladies and gentlemen, top rank and a square ring in association with your undisputed King of Bears, Budweiser, present World Championship Boxing, sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission and the World Boxing Council, WBC President Jose Suleiman. The three judges at ringside scoring this bout on the 10 point must system will be Lou Filippo, Dr. James Jen Kin, and Daniel Van Neville. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Jose Cobian. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from Staples Center, Los Angeles, California, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Featherweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white, trimmed with blue, and weighing in at 125 and one half pounds. His professional record, 24 victories, including 14 knockouts with only one defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, from Seoul, Korea, here is the challenger, the WBC number one ranked featherweight in the world, Inji. ring fighting out of the red corner wearing white trimmed with blue and weighing in at 126 pounds his professional record a perfect one consisting of 40 bouts 40 victories including 31 knockouts and two world titles Thomas de Caballeros de Sona Norte Tijuana Mexico the two-time world champion and reigning defending undefeated WBC featherweight champion of the world, Eri El Terrible Morales. We have already discussed about instructions. No questions. Good luck and bless you. Come back to the belt. With 10,000 tickets between $25 and $100, we have a big crowd tonight, somewhere between 17 and 18,000. So far, nobody has plugged it into the electric socket. Perhaps Eric Morales can. Underway, the first of a potential 12 round championship bout between Eric Morales and Injun Chi. George, after the kind of battle that Morales had with Marco Antonio Barrera, can a fighter? actually lose something and never get it back. You better believe it. This guy's been tested 
a, a few two minute times for such a young career. So part of what he's going to be doing tonight is trying to be cautious not to be hit so much. I'm sure his corners already told him that. You lose a lot. When we first saw Morales, he was a, a boxer puncher, counter puncher, but he had such an all out brawl with Barrera that since he's come back and we haven't seen that style, people have been a little bit disappointed. It's, it's bound to happen that once you set that kind of a high standard that people are going to keep expecting it. And now he's coming back to the fighter that he originally was. Tonight, Morales has an opponent who's high up there. Right hands are just out there to just reach at it at any time. Won't have to look for him. Fighter standing toe to toe on the middle of the ring. And Morales unloads, snapping back G's head three times with solid hooks. G took a big left hand. His face is reddened. And he comes back. Morales, the Tijuana fighter, told us that he expected quite a bit of support from his home country of Mexico tonight. Could be looking to put on quite a show. There were lots of applause for Chi tonight also. He has the community here, some support. Very large community of Koreans in Los Angeles centered around what is called Koreatown. Chan-ho Park, the pitcher for the Dodgers from Korea. One of the best pitchers in baseball is the biggest hero in Korea, and he's a pretty big hero right here in Los Angeles as well. Interpreting for us this evening in the corner of Injun Chi will be Paul Yi and Ray Torres will be in Eric Morales' corner. Respira, Dordo. Okay, deep breath. He's, he's, hey, he's, he's gunning low. He's, he's trying to avoid your uppercut. Stand up and, and stand him up. Don't, don't go to outside. Do it inside. <laughs> go. Go. So don't worry. So, go ahead. So, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So, slow down. Here is Morales at work. Real good at close quarters. A right followed by a left, followed by another right. The kind of combination punching that has made him an outstanding champion. CompuBox numbers from the first round fairly even. 12 of 52 for 23% for Morales. 10 of 48, 21% for Chi. As Harold Letterman always says, it appeared Morales, though, had the harder, more effective punches. Chi tripling up with the right hand. She has virtually no other option but to come to Morales. Morales with a nine inch reach advantage. Both 
Pathfinders doing good work in the center of the ring. As we mentioned, this is Chi's first fight in the United States. 24 of his 25 fights have been in Korea. Nice little right hand by Chi. Morales wants to see is another fight that resembles the one that he had with Barrera George. And it's strange because with such great skills, left jabs and hooks, why is it that Morales cannot stay out of war? Because his instinct when he gets hit is to hit back. Morales doing a nice job of catching Chi with left hooks to end the second round. Don't, don't work so hard. Don't work him in the corner. Don't bring him to the middle of the ring, and then he'll take all the punches from you. Throw the body. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Slow down. Slow down. Move. Move to the right. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Try, try. Just keep going. So here's Chi trying to lure Morales into some exchanges. Lands a good right hand inside. Gets out before he can Morales can retaliate. Good work. You've got to ask yourself, what is Morales doing in a corner with that kind of reach? Fight should be in the middle of the in the middle of the ring at all costs. Stay in the middle. Very even fight so far. Power punches through two rounds. Chi has landed one fewer. 20 of 73. 21 of 73 for Morales. I gave uh, the second round to Chi. Morales won the first round. George, you want to see Morales using his jab a lot more. That's right. Morales' back should never be any more than uh, three feet from, the, from those ropes. Shouldn't be so close to the rope. He has no room to get away from a shot. Fighting a guy with a longer reach, you want to keep him real close to the rope so there is a reach advantage. Injun Chi doing a nice job of forcing Morales into the corner and then unloading. Referee Jose Cobian says, lay off the back of Morales' head. Chi offered the touch gloves with Morales. Morales rejected it. Jin Chi doing a good job too of feigning and missing some of those shots from Morales. Many of the Korean fighters we've seen have been one dimensional, tough and strong and brave, but they didn't have this kind of head movement uh, that Chi is exhibiting here, uh, this kind of versatility. 
She seems not to have any instinct, instincts to finish a fight. He lands a good shot and let the fight get away again. Once you get Morales on the corner in the ring on those ropes, you've got to stay on it. Go for the finish. Let the referee break it up. Engine Chi, though, right there in front of Eric Morales. Moments ago, referee Raul Taiz reading instructions to Roy Jones Jr. Okay, Roy, again, watch your punches behind the back of the head, watch your kidney punches, watch your low blows. Bone here on up is fine. Case of a knockdown, which is any part of the body other than the bottom of your feet, mm. knee, glove, elbow, hit the deck. It's a knockdown. Please don't hit a man this down. If you think he's went down, if you have any doubt, step back, and I'll indicate knockdown or slip, and then we'll take it from there. Remember, mouthpiece has to be in your mouth at all times. If you're fighting and your opponent hits you or you hit him and his mouthpiece falls out, continue fighting as long as there's action or as long as there is an advantage. Once there's no longer, or when there's a, once there's a lull in the action, I'll stop the, 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 the battle. Replace the mouthpiece and you guys can continue. Again, remember, if you want to fight against the ropes, that's fine. As long as you pay attention to me, if I say punch or get out, you do either one of the two, and that way I know you're okay and you're, and you're fine. Also, when, you, when, when the bell rings, I expect you to protect yourself at all times and spin out and get out of there and go to your corner. All right, as we start the fourth round, let's bring in Harold Letterman. Harold, how do you have it through four? Okay, Fred, 29-28, two rounds to one. Eric El Terrible Morales. Friend, I got to tell you, the biggest problem that Injun Chi has got right now is his right eye is closing up. He's got a swelling under that right eye since the first round, and I got news for you. I don't know if he's seeing all those punches coming at him because Morales, when he throws that left hook, has been very, very effective with it. Korean fighters notoriously have legs like tree trunks, and if you look at Injun Chi's legs, you'll realize where he gets all that power. But so far, in a very, very good fight, you know, with, with mostly power punches, Eric Morales is out punching Injun Chi to have a 2 1, a 2 1 lead. You are right about that. Chi does have a strong power base in those legs. Morales now turning the tables, forcing Chi into the corner. Catches Chi with a strong overhand right. George, we talked about the things that Eric Morales needed to do. Needs to jab much more than he is. But what do you think about Injun Chi's performance so far? He's doing fine. Once Morales lands anything on him, you can be certain he's going to hit him back. And that's where Morales is running into a lot of trouble. He's getting hit back. Every time he lands a shot, he gets something back also. That's to be credited to a guy who's an awful competitor in Chi. Morales with a left hook. Eric Morales enjoys a nine inch reach advantage and getting back to doing the things to exploit that advantage here in the fourth round. She is doing the jabbing now. Jab them from pillow to pose. Instructions to Julio Gonzalez. Okay, Julio, a couple of quick instructions. I want you to wa watch the punches behind the back of the head. No punches behind the back of the head. I want you to watch your low blows and your kidney punches. Bone here on up is fine. I don't care where your trunks are, okay? If you get hit low, I don't want you flashing or telling me that you got hit. I'll be able to tell and take whatever action deemed necessary. Bell rings. I expect you to protect yourself. Spin off. Go to your corner. In case mouthpiece falls out, 
keep fighting as long as there's action or as long as there is an advantage, I'll let you continue to fight without a mouthpiece. But once there's a lull in the action, I'll stop, pick up the mouthpiece, and we'll take it to you, sir, and we'll put it on, we'll, you can clean it for him. Larry, you mentioned Staples Center here is a near sellout. Julio Gonzalez from Huntington Beach, California. This obviously would be the largest crowd that he's ever fought in front of. You just saw him there. Does he look relaxed? He seems relaxed, but I really haven't seen enough of him to be able to compare it with anything else. Uh, but he seems a very self-possessed uh, young man. And... Um, I think he'll give whatever he's got and shouldn't be intimidated by the occasion. Break, break, Morales back, picked up the pace in the fourth round, but only landed 14 of 84 jabs. She trying to Keep the fight inside here in the fifth round. Morales snapping back the head of Chi with a strong left jab. Chi comes right back with two left hands. Injun Chi is uh, trying to bake, break that 24 straight losing streak of Korean fighters in Los Angeles, and he's doing a very good job. Maybe not good enough to win, but good enough uh, to make Morales have to bring out his best stuff. George, have we seen Morales' best stuff? I don't Good think night. so. He's starting to take charge of the fight now. Pepping him with that left jab, standing in the middle of the ring. That's that's the best he can give us with some occasional hooks. Never getting hit back. Some great fireworks coming off the fist of Eric Morales right there. Great work with left hooks and right hands. Injun Chi, though, right there in front of Morales. Morales takes charge of the fight, then he allows Chi to get right back into it. Well, I'm going to give Chi some credit. Uh, normally, when a guy's been hit with a four or five punch combination, he's not that anxious to get back. And he just keeps coming back. Kim Jin Chi, a tough Korean fighter. Eric Morales with his hands full. Jab, go ahead and jab. You have to jab. Fine. Chi, as you saw him blinking in the corner, was still trying to recover from this feverish combination late in the round. Morales is 11 and 0 in championship fights. This is the first championship fight for Injun Chi. George, did you spot something in Morales' corner? Do you think his hands are bothering him? Yeah, he was able to land some good shots. He went away hurting in his hand. Chi now muscles up in the center of the ring. Morales opens his hands as if to say, bring it on. 
Well, Morales is now covering up his left eye. a headbutt that uh, on the, that caused the bleeding on the left eye of Morales. We can't tell how severe it is, but it looks to be directly over the left eye. And you heard the doctor tell Jose Cobian, watch his vision. We may have to stop it. And Morales down fighting with a newfound sense of energy. She wanted to see if he could put an end to it. The action heats up in the middle of the sixth round. It's, it's not just energy, it's urgency. Because even he understands that this is a fight that could come to a premature halt. And Shots. This fight very important for Eric Morales, hoping for a rematch against Marco Antonio Barrera. Well, right now this looks like Marco Antonio Chi <laughs> fighting Eric Morales. She is concentrating on just landing one good shot over there to the to the left side of the right uh, left side of the face. We should be trying to jab now. This is the time to jab. Set it all up again. And he is almost a total headhunter, George. Break, break, lead. Oh, and Morales' break. eye is dead. He's complaining about the eye. He's having difficulty seeing. George, no back. one is going to give you anything in this boxing business. But though he hurt his hand in the prior round, stop, stop, and that stop. made him slack up. That's when things start to go wrong. Could that sense of urgency be a negative? Yeah, it's a negative because you got to stick to your basics now. Get back to your left jab for Morales. Get back to your jab and your right hand. Big right hand that time from Eric Morales to close out the sixth round. And the crowd comes to its feet for the first time tonight. It's okay. I got it under control. Keep breathing. Don't worry about it. Jose Morales, the father of Eric Morales and his lead trainer, has asked the referee to call in a doctor, I believe, but the referee has declined. Here is a look at what we think was the collision where it happened. Six rounds of a potential 12 rounder are in the books. Let's bring in Harold Letterman. Harold? Okay, Fred. 58-56, four rounds to two, Eric Del Terrible Morales. Now, Fred, here's the situation. If that cut is made worse by legal blows, any time until the fight ends, we go to the scorecards. In other words, uh, she doesn't win on a TKO because the original cut was caused by an accidental headbutt. We're beyond the fourth round. If the cut becomes worse, the winner is determined by who's ahead on the scorecards. If the fight is stopped. Correct. If the fight is stopped because of the cut, we go to the scorecards. We talked about the sense of urgency in round six. Now, she has got to concentrate on the body, start with piling up some points and, the, and to win this fight. Forget about that opening of that eye again. Go to the body. He may not even realize the point that Harold made that 
to find his stock because of the cut, it's not necessarily, it's not a TKO. Doesn't benefit him because he has the less of the reach here, and those jabs are starting to count up for some points for Morales. Morales, a nice Morales. Nice right hand. So many hard fights for Morales in his career. Seldom you see a guy with anything left after something like that. Ding Chin Chi having a little fun. Catches Morales, slaps him with a left hook. And it was all because of the body punches previous. Go to the body and finish up on top. That's the rule of boxing. Start low, finish on top. Strong body shot that time by Chi. That punch blocked by Chi from Morales. <laughs> Incidentally, Morales' corner has done a pretty good job with the cut over his left eye. Let's take a live look inside the locker room of Roy Jones, undisputed light heavyweight champion. His first fight in Los Angeles. Could Roy Jones be looking ahead to a possible showdown with Felix Trinidad? He doesn't love the camera very much. <laughs> Okay, you gotta stay in the center of the ring. Wait for him there, and then hit him. You know, you don't have to be on the ropes. Hey, when, when he gets perfect, make sure you got some distance between you. Straight, straight. Jab, jab, straight. Jab, jab, jab. You have to go. Keep on going. George, you made the point. Morales needs to jab more. 34 of 158, landing 22%. And for Chi, he needs to work the body more. If he starts down low, he can connect because the guy automatically drops his hands to protect his body. Morales does. Morales, a strong overhand right, shows you some speed. Stalking and stalking brings the fight back to the center of the ring. Morales trying to keep him at bay with jabs. Nice one, two, and then he dips out of there from Eric Morales. That right hand by Morales hurt Chief for a second. He didn't capitalize on it. Faded a little bit against Goody Espadas in the last couple of rounds, possibly conserving some energy in the day. Yeah, he understands now that he needs it in the latter round, so he's not going to be as liberal with the shots this time around. Been there, done that. But this is the time you need to throw shots. Cheat something on cheat. Is the 
bang for one, two punches at a time. That's not the way you take the title from a champion. Got to put the many shots together. Morales, nice countering work. With hooks to the head. And that eye holding up very well so far. Morales holds one of the featherweight championships. Larry, let's take a look at some of the other top featherweights. Here they are, uh, Marco Antonio Barrera, generally recognized as uh, the top of the class right now. Morales Gutierrez Spadas, who may be Morales' next opponent in a rematch. And Manny Pacquiao, a Filipino fighter who gave us a sensational performance last month in Cincinnati. We hear that Prince Ahmed uh, may be returning to action in November. And Derek Gaynor, who originally was on this card, but backed out because he felt he wasn't getting enough money, uh, will also have some upcoming fights. What a serious headbutt. Or even a fist opens a cut. The cut man becomes the most important man in the corner. And Miguel Diaz doing a very solid job on the cut over the left eye of Eric Morales. It's interesting, George. The eye injury has forced Morales more or less into his natural style as a boxer puncher. Sometimes it takes a wake up call. You know, up, up. Do what you're supposed to do. Oh. Referee Jose Cobian warning Chi about low blows. Big right counter by Eric Morales. Chi stepped right back. It's been the MO of the fight. Up. George, at what point does Injun Chi need to take it to another level here as we head into the later rounds? You know, he's doing everything right, but he only tries for one shot at a time. He's just got to put four or five, take some of the power off of them, and put four or five together. He can change everything. He's keeping the right pressure, using the right assortment of shots, but he's not doing enough punches. One at a time. Talk about the toughness of Chi that Morales showed us. Different fight when he lands three or four. Morales showed us his extreme toughness when he took on Barrera. Four straight jabs by Morales. Nice strong jab that time by Morales. And he delivers uppercuts to the head of Injun Chi and then hits him with a straight right hand. All set up by those jabs. I think the referee is kind of confused. He doesn't see Morales holding the left hand of Chi. That's right, Chi being warned by Kobe on about holding Morales' head. But George, you bring up an interesting point. You got to make sure the referee see what you're doing. Eric Morales settling into the kind of fight that he likes. Oh.
Hey, the, the referee, you gotta watch out for the referee. The referee's against you. He's not protecting you, so you gotta protect yourself. Don't, don't, don't get so close to him like that. Keep him at bay. The referee is allowing him to do whatever he wants. Power. Power. You have to hit. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Injin, listen to me. Listen to me. You got a jab. Jab, jab. Don't get hit by jab. This fight was seen by many as a stepping stone toward the rematch with Barrera for Morales. Some stepping stone, George. <laughs> Been a little blood on that stone. <laughs> All right, let's bring in Harold Letterman. Okay, friend. I gotta tell you, since round six, when Eric Morales got cut by that accidental headbutt, he's going straight back. And if you like a guy that's a, an effective aggressor and uses a lot of pressure, you'll like Injun Chi. Personally, I've got an 87-84, six rounds to three for the champion Eric El Terrible Morales, because even going backwards, he's out punching Chi with that solid right hand. I thought Chi definitely won a sixth round and certainly won the eighth round, but he put a lot of pressure on Morales. Other than that, I like the big right hands of Eric Morales catching Chi coming in. Incidentally, Jose Cobayan told the Chi corner that one more foul, he doesn't care what kind of foul, he's taking a point from Injun Chi. I have Morales ahead comfortably seven rounds to two, even though it's been a good scrap. And she has given Morales as much as he wanted tonight. She's certainly no pushover. 24 and 1, 14 knockouts as she sends Morales back into the ropes with strong power work. But he's never recorded a knockout in rounds 10, 11, or 12. Maybe what he needs here tonight. Well, very often we see uh, top contenders from exotic places, faraway places. We know nothing about them. We wonder how they got those ratings. Injun Chi has earned his rating, and right now he's earned a one-point penalty. This corner was telling him the referee was against him. Now Jose Cobian taking a point away for holding. In all fairness, it's been happening, though, for the majority of the fight. She has a tendency to slap. Well, what she is claiming is that Morales is bending his head way down, and that's why there, some of these fouls and near fouls are being committed. I think the referee just put himself on the spot by warning him in that fashion. Now, then he had to do something. He shouldn't have done that for me. I didn't see anything terrible happening no. that would have caused a deduction. One second. Sometimes these guys get excited and figure I said something, now I've got to do something. Morales comes through with a strong one-two, pushing Chi back into the corner to end the 10th round. That's, if you finish the round real good, that's what you need to do. We only got two more rounds to go, so. You know what you have to do? The chin is not the, the opponent, the referee is your foe here. Punch, punch, punch. Jab, 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 okay? Get other guys getting tired. Don't worry. And don't hold them. Jab, Injin, listen to me. Get out. Injun, you need to get out. Get out. Did she cause this or did oh, Morales cause this? Out. It looks to me as though it's Morales who is bending forward before out. he gets punched. Come on, go. Out. I'd say the out. referee just stepped in because he, he said he would. 
You wonder, think... you wonder why the Morales people think the referee's against them. They just gave them a free point. Potentially a 10-8 round. So you see Harold Letterman's scorecard. Oh, stop! For Morales. Which puts Chi in further jeopardy. Elbow by Chi. Chi definitely needs uh, a knockout to win this fight now. Chi trying to work the body, steps upstairs. He's got this fight if he just takes control. Keep throwing punches and stop trying to hold. If Chi just start throwing punches. The problem, George, is that Chi hasn't shown any real power to hurt Morales yet. That, that's why it takes four or five. Don't throw powers. Go after him in, in numerous. Throw a lot of shots. That lack of power might be the main reason that Morales is set to stand in trace. Well, he's bringing it to him now. Both fighters relying on power shots in the middle of the 11th round. Morales working on the uppercut overtime. Snaps G back with a strong right hand. Obion warning Chi again about that left forearm on the neck of Eric Morales. Morales, get back into the fight. Start using your left jab. He's in with a guy who doesn't have that much talent. Make him out boxing. Larry pointed out, instinct for Morales is what brings him to the center of the ring to fire toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Great work here by Eric Morales to end the 11th round. The crowd comes alive here at Staples Center. That's a round we all want to stand and cheer for. Last round. Now. Now, come on. This is the last round. This is the last round. Come on. This is the last round, Injun. You have to take control. This is the last round. This is it. This is it. You have to do it. Come on. Injun, you have to do it. You, you have to do it. You have to do it now. Come on, think. You have to move. You have to do it. Do it. Oh, yeah. All right. It's the 12th and final round of this Featherweight Championship between Eric Morales and Injun Chi. Harold, how do you have it? Okay, friend. 107-101. Eight rounds to three for the champion, Eric El Terrible Morales. You know, I gotta tell you, he's in grueling fights one after the other. He gets busted up, but he puts on great performances. He's winning this, this fight by just landing those clean of shots, snapping the guy's head back with left jabs, and landing a great right hand. Frank, there's two things you can't do. Hit a guy behind the head that's around the front, and hit a guy in the kidneys. That's what she's doing there. 72 of the 81 punches Morales threw in the 11th round. Power shots, he landed 39. George, we talked about Morales possibly conserving a little energy in the 7th and 8th rounds because he wanted to finish up strong. He's doing as much now. He's throwing the shots. I, I didn't think he would even have that much at this point in the fight. But she is one competitor. You don't have to look for him. He comes right back in front of you. 
You're exactly right. Give Injun Chi some credit. If he keeps coming back. I'm not sure, though, Morales believes that Chi can hurt him, and that's why he's willing to stand there and trade. And Morales is never in a dull boxing match. As Chi tries to put punches together, not a whole lot on them, though. Got a fight. Just like his corner told him. Bring it on. <laughs> Eric Morales. Trying to close the show here in the 12th and final round. As he hears cheers from the crowd. Why do the fans love Eric Morales? For this reason. He's won the fight. The fight isn't over. He's going to give you everything he's got. And she is fighting to the end. She catches Morales with her right hand. And Morales smiles. Doesn't have that much time. You're going to do it, Chi. You better do it. Valiant effort from both of these featherweight fighters. Injun Chi and Eric Morales. The most exciting action, no doubt, of the night. How many more wars can Eric Morales go through? Jin Chi unloading 100 shots in the 12th round, landing 24. Chi trying to do everything that he could. And there you see the scorecard of Harold Letterman. That's Morales winning the fight. Jin Chi will look in the mirror tomorrow morning and know that whatever the result he gave what he had that's the way you want to look at it no matter how swollen you are so long as you've given it everything you've got wanted to put on a uh, more impressive show after his lackluster performance against Goody Espadas. One, George, was he able to do that tonight? And two, is he going to take another tune-up or should he or should he just try to either get a rematch with Espadas or Barrera? You know one thing? This is a night that the crowd has spoken. They were on their feet at the end. They applauded for, I guess, the last three or four rounds. That means this guy can do anything he wants. Has nothing to do with the commentators this time. <laughs> the crowd, they've spoken. The plan is for him to fight Espadas and then Barrera next Cinco de Mayo weekend. We'll see if the plan is realized. All right, two judges from California, one from Belgium. Let's send it up to Michael Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we had a courageous challenger, a sensational champion, and definitely deserving a round of applause here at Staples Center, Los Angeles. We go to the Budweiser scorecard. Lou Filippo scores the bout 116 to 111.
Dr. James Jen Kin has it, 117 to 110. And Daniel Vanderveel scores it 116 to 112. All for the winner by unanimous decision and still the undefeated WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Eric, El Terrible.